The following programming is a TV Box Stop presentation. Welcome visitors and subscribers to my channel. It's your host Nick here once again and today the spotlight focuses on the new era of TV boxes. This is the B-Link GS1 Android 7.16 k TV box. In my previous video, we have seen the latest all-winner CPU hardware in action and what it can do, so stay tuned. We have more in a moment. Cyber Monday Shopping Madness continues, and get ready because on the 27th of November to the 4th of December, Gearbest is extending their Cyber Monday deals and bargain. Get blown away by huge markdowns on electronic items of up to 50% in their Cyber Monday after sale. This is the chance to get items at ridiculously low prices. Go to GearBest.com, and join the extended Cyber Monday shopping event. Exclusive links to these offers can be found in the description area below this video. And now on to the presentation. So I'm back, and this is the box it comes in. B-Link boxes are always professionally well labeled, adding that high quality feel to all their products. If we look closer it shows that the CPU is a quad-core ARM Cortex-A53 processor. The GPU is the Mali T720 MP2 GPU. It plays 4K videos at 60 frames per second and the new resolution of 6K videos at 30 frames per second. It has 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage, with a max extended capacity of up to 4TB. It has dual band AC Wi-Fi support and Bluetooth 4.1. It has Ethernet LAN speeds of up to 1000 Mbps, and it runs on Android 7.1 operating system. So I'll now take a minute to unpack the contents of the box. In the box, you get the B-Link GS1 unit itself. You get this IR remote. You get one HDMI cable. A 5 volts 2 amps DC power adapter. And a user setup guide. In today's video, I'll be co-testing two new products. The first is a cooling fan for wireless routers and TV boxes made by Cold Cold, a company out of China. And the other is the Re Mini One wireless mini touchpad keyboard. So I'll test these during the review, uh, I'll say more about their performance later in this video. Let's take a closer look at the box. The box is made of a black plastic housing with the B-Link 6 branding to the top. To the back, you have one HDMI port, one USB 2.0 port, you get one RJ45 Ethernet LAN port, one optical audio port, and a DC power input. To the side, you get one USB 3.0 port and a micro SD card slot. There's nothing on the other side. To the front, you have an LED power light. And to the bottom, there's a reset pin hole button, and some ventilation holes. So I'll connect it to my TV, and when I return we'll continue. So I've connected the box, and as you can see the cooling fan has adjustable arms so it fits perfectly. I also connected the wireless mini touchpad keyboard. The B-Link GS1 starts up with their B-Link logo animation that takes just a few seconds. Once it's completed, you're taken to their launcher. So this is the B-Link launcher, and it's the same launcher used in previous models. The launcher has a navigation bar for quick and easy navigation and multitasking. It also has a status bar at the top for notifications. 
In the settings area, you'd want to check the updates feature under the about section, because B-Link has already provided a wireless update for this box. So I'll just take a minute to complete the update. So the update has completed, but please note, you have to perform the update twice for it to work. In the apps section, here we have a list of all of the apps that comes installed on the box. It's mostly system apps like the Google Play Store and Miracast. There are no movie streaming applications like Kodi and Netflix. So I'll just take a second to install some apps of my own, and when I return I'll continue. So I've installed all my apps, and I'm running an application that monitors the CPU temperature in the background to test the performance of the cooling fans. And first let's check to see if the box is rooted. It shows that the box is rooted, running on Android 7.1 Nougat operating system. This is great news, and I'll also check later in the video to see if key mapping applications work with this root access. I'll now have a look at the DRM information. Well the results are the same, the box only has support for Google Wide Vine and CENC Clear Key, which only allows Netflix to show in standard quality. And now some system and hardware information. It shows that the manufacturer is AZW, and the model here is the B-Link GS1 as we already know. The box has 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage. What is shown here is the remaining RAM and internal storage after the Android installation and apps installed on the box. The CPU is a 64-bit quad-core ARM Cortex-A53 processor, with a CPU clock range of up to 1.8GHz. This is something new. Because most boxes run up to 1.5GHz, this increase in clock speed is due to the all-winner CPU used in this box. However, the box only has support for 32-bit ABIs, which limits the box to 32-bit applications. The display is powered by the ARM Mali T720 dual-core GPU, with a refresh rate of 60Hz. It has support for dual-band Wi-Fi, and Wi-Fi Direct is supported. The version of Android is 7.1 Nougat. The box runs cool around 50 to 60 degrees Celsius on normal room temperature, and around 44 to 50 degrees on passive cooling. The box comes with codecs like H264, HEVC and VP9 decoding, codecs needed to play 4K videos. That's all for system and hardware information, and I now move on to the benchmarks. First I have the results of the memory read and write speeds. The B-Link GS1 has a RAM copy speed of 3315MB per second. The internal storage has a read speed of 74MB per second and a write speed of 41, and the SD card reader has a read speed of 20MB per second and a write speed of 4. These scores are not very high but they are consistent with other boxes in its class. I now have the Wi-Fi speed results. So I have decided to include the results of both the Ethernet LAN speeds and the 5.8 GHz Wi-Fi speeds. And the results show that on the 5.8 GHz band, the speeds fell a bit below my maximum internet connection of 30 MB. However, the Ethernet LAN connection hit the maximum speed with every try, which means that this box runs faster on Ethernet connection. I now show the results of the Antutu benchmark. And it shows that the B-Link GS1 got a score of 42,595. This score is a little above average, but not as high as those found on Rockchip Hexacore boxes. Now the results of the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark. The GS1 has a Geekbench 4 score of 682 single core, 
and 1606 multi-core. The single core score is noticeably higher than most boxes, whilst the multi-core score remains consistent. And last I have the results of the Ice Storm Extreme GPU benchmark. And it shows that the box got a score of 4236, which is not quite as high, but it's consistent. That's it for the benchmarks. Let's take a look at some 4K video samples. Well most of the 4K samples played ok, with the exception of the jellyfish video at 400 megabits per second. I'll now run the YouTube application to see what's the highest resolution.
So what we have is the YouTube application only playing up to 2K quality. This was brought to my attention by one of my subscribers, and it's not 4K as described in my previous video. So we have gone one step further past the 1080p quality resolution. So for my final demonstration I'm running a boxing game. This game was designed to play via touch screen only on mobile phones, which is impossible for a TV box to achieve. So I'm applying a workaround by using a popular key mapping application along with my PXN Pro Tri gamepad controlled to see how well the box is rooted, and if the root permissions would allow the key mapping application to work. So let's take in some boxing action. <laughs> Another stunning hit! Another stunning hit! Clean hit! Clean hit! As you can see, this boxing game ran really well. I even managed to get a TKO. The permissions on the GKM Touch Key Mapping application works quite well, and the gameplay was smooth and exciting. So in summary, the B-Link GS1 is the second H6 all-winner powered Android TV box I have featured to date. The results were really good in some areas, and a bit troublesome in other areas. Let me explain. The selling point of this box is that it's an all new CPU hardware with the ability to play videos in 6K resolution, and the ability to play YouTube videos in 2K quality. Also it's good gaming ability that allows you to play touch screen Android games with key mapping applications. When compared to other Amalogic boxes in its class, it's clear to see the benchmarks are very similar to what you would normally get in the results. However, the performance of the new all-winner boxes are much better than the Amalogic boxes. In my previous video I got good performance from all sectors of the review on the same hardware. However, on the B-Link GS1 I experienced some difficulty playing a jellyfish video at 400 megabits per second bitrate. Another issue I experienced, which is an old B-Link issue from the B-Link CI review is that the mouse cursor movement has a bit of a shadow effect which can be disturbing at times. Also I couldn't test the box's 6K video capability, because the 6K videos I downloaded came in a file format that the box couldn't recognize. Besides that, streaming applications worked great, no complaints there. I like the YouTube quality, and all Android games are now playable with key mapping applications working perfectly. So let's quickly look at the performance of the two accessories featured on today's presentation. Throughout the video, I monitored the CPU's temperature under the cooling fan, and the results show that the newly designed cooling fan for TV boxes and wireless routers keep temperatures low during normal operation, and under control during heavy usage like while playing games. So I highly recommend this cooling fan as a best buy for those of you who have high-end boxes that generate lots of heat. See the special link in the description area. The other accessory was the Re Mini 1 Wireless Mini Touch Pad Keyboard. This is one of the best wireless mini touch pad keyboards online. It works really well and looks great with controls to switch on the backlit for the keys. It has an earphone jack, built-in microphone, and rechargeable batteries via USB. The touchpad area is flat with no bezels for easy transition between keys and pad. So if you are looking for a great wireless control with omnidirectional features, then I recommend the Re Mini 1 Wireless Mini Touchpad Keyboard. 
see the link in the description area. So in conclusion, I'm giving the B-Link GS1 the green light for purchase, along with a 4.0 star user experience rating. The B-Link GS1 is better than most previous boxes, and it will be featured in my upcoming season's promotions. Thanks for watching, remember to like this video by giving it the thumbs up if you liked the presentation, share it with everyone, and subscribe to this channel for more TV Box Top presentations.